Do you want to be a hero to your friends, save people's relationships, and even get yourself out of hot water in cases where you've deleted files or you have corrupted drives on your system? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Thanks to our sponsor, Stellar Data Recovery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this cool external device that's going to allow me to connect up to drives that I've pulled from some systems. I'm then going to use the Stellar Data Recovery software on various different drives and files that I have to recover files that may have been deleted or maybe they're corrupted or maybe they're in a file system and I just need to pull them off. And then I'm finally going to show you that once I've recovered those drives, I'm going to tuck them away onto a cloud server that's encrypted, secure with unlimited storage and allow me to have those files whenever I need them in the future. So it's a one, two, three. It's the hardware, the software, and the saving. Let's go take a look. Before I start the data recovery process with Stellar Data Recovery, I need to connect the drive to my system. If it's an internal drive on my system, no problem at all. But if it's an external USB, I'll plug it into the system. If it's something like a media card, like a micro SD or an SD card, I'll get some sort of hub that allows me to connect it into my system. If it's going to be an external drive that comes with a cable, if it's in an enclosure with a cable, I'm all good to go. But what happens if I have drives that I've pulled out of a system, or maybe I have a drive that's in an enclosure and I no longer have the cables for that enclosure? Well, what I can do is I can use a little device in order to connect to these drives. Then once I'm connected up, I can start using Stellar Data Recovery to start finding the files that are on these drives. In fact, I don't even know what's on this drive. Hopefully I'll find a whole bunch of Bitcoins or something. So the device I'm using here is this little device here and I'll put a link below for it as well. But you can see here that this device here gives me power. So I'll have a power connector that's going to let me to connect, going to allow me to connect into this device has a little on off switch so I can give it power. You'll notice it has a drive power cable here because not all drives are the same. You can see here, I've got some drives that are IDE drives. You can see here that I've got some drives that are SATA drives. You can see here, even in the small drives, I've got my IDE drive and I've got a SATA drive here. But what this device allows me to do is to connect into three different types of drive. So I can take my IDE drive that requires power. I can just pop that in, pop in the power. I'm good to go. I'm connected to this drive, connected to my computer, and I can now use Stellar Data Recovery to start the process of finding files that are maybe deleted or maybe the file system's deleted. Maybe I need to recover some partitions. There's all sorts of things I can do with, with this. Now, this also supports connecting into my other pinouts here. So here I have a another IDE drive, a smaller one, and then I can even connect up, I'll just grab one of these guys, one of my SATA drives. So I can connect up to multiple drives, and then once I'm powered on, I can then begin using Stellar Data Recovery to start looking at the files that are on here and start recovering the different files that I need from the drives that I've pulled and connected to my system. I've plugged in an old hard drive into my drive adapter. I've then plugged that into my computer and powered everything on. But if you take a look here, You'll notice that in File Explorer, that drive isn't showing up. But I know it's there, I know it's powered on, and I know there's files on there that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'll take note here that this drive, my system drive, is about 475 gigs in size. That's going to be important a little bit later on. And I'm going to open up my Stellar uh, Data Recovery. And you'll notice here that it sees connected drives. So these are different partitions. It sees a couple of physical disks, even though File Explorer only showed one. And it actually even allows me to recover RAID partitions, which is an incredibly useful feature if I was using a RAID and one of my drives failed and I need to recover data off that RAID partition. I'm pretty impressed that it has that. So I'm gonna go here to the physical disks and I'm gonna look at all of the files on this drive here that's 76 gigs in size. I told you it was an old drive. 76 gigs is, is pretty old. So now I'm going to go ahead and begin the scan process on this drive. And it's going to go through and it's going to look for any files that are on there. Now I could have targeted my search if I just wanted to look for email files or if I just wanted to look for photos or videos. So it's going to go through this process of searching the files here. And it can take a little bit of time to do the complete search. So what I'm going to do is I'll pause the video here and we'll come back once it's done its full scan. So it's been running for just a few minutes, but I did want to point out 
that once it's run for a little bit, it'll give you an estimation of how long it's going to take to do that entire drive. And you'll also get the option here of turning on the preview. And you can see that this is already starting to grab different files. So this particular hard drive does seem to have a, some uh, GIF files in there, some TIFF PNG files in there, JPEG files in there. So that's a lot of photos and such. I'll just turn off the preview here and we're going to again allow it to do its job. It does take a little while to do its job, but it is doing a deep search for all of the different files on this hard drive. And you know what? If I'm trying to recover files that I've lost, that's fine. I'm going to have this run for a little while in the background, come back and grab my files, and I'm going to be pretty happy about that. So the scanning has now completed successfully. It can take a little bit of time depending on the size of the hard drive that you're using. But you can see here, I've let this run actually overnight in my case. So you can see that I found almost 125,000, 126,000 files in 109 folders and you have a bunch of data here. So now what I can do is I can take a look here, say okay here. Now that I've got all of these folders and files listed, I can then recover them into another location. So one of the things that I'll often do is you can go through and take a look at all of the individual files, make sure you're just getting one file or specific types of files, but I can also just recover everything. So if I go in and choose to recover here, you'll notice I can choose a destination to recover to. I can even do my advanced setting here where I can, you know, zip and compress the files in here. I can choose, you know, in this case here, I'm taking all files and folders in there, but I can, I can make some choices in there as well. You can even put a filter in there. If you have a lot of files, you might not want them all. Now, in this case here, um, I'll just close this for a second. I happen to know that this old hard drive was part of a Mac computer. So if I go into my photos, for example, there'll be a whole bunch of different photos here. And if I grab, say, my PNG files here, I can preview them. So I'll grab a preview here. And you can see, if I go through, this is an old Mac computer. So I can tell by the interface in here, there's a lot of different programs that I have PNG files for. Some of them are just, there's just a little dot in there, but you can see that some of these files in here are specific to different applications that I might have in here. So there's something to do with animals in here, I suppose. So I've got all sorts of different files in there. You can go through and, and preview and take a look, see what type of files that you're looking for, um, different types of you know, TIF files, PNG files, all the different things that you might expect. Some of these are just little tiles, so they're very small on the screen, but you can see here, that I've got all of the different files that I might want in here and I can do searches in here. Now this happens to be quite an old Mac. You can see by the version of the iPhone uh, image that I have here, this, this uh, GIF image in here, you can see I've got some old ones in there, but maybe I wanna recover them all. Maybe I wanna take some time and choose which ones I wanna recover depending on my circumstance. In my case, I'll recover everything. So I'll choose the drive and then I'll choose to do recover. When I choose to recover, one of the things that I will do is I'll choose a location and because I want to make sure that I have these files for a long time, I actually have a uh, cloud service that I'll, I'll save these to. So I'll save mine to sync.com. So I'll actually go to my sync.com. I'll create a new folder in here and I'll call it recovered drive. And I could put something in here. I'm just going to do this as a demo here. So, but I'll call it Apple old, whatever the case may be. And then what I'm going to do is choose that folder. So I'll select that folder and then I can start saving all of these files. Again, it'll take a little while to save them all, but now I have them all in my cloud service. This will synchronize with my cloud service. And in the case of sync.com, it's unlimited storage. So now I have a project where I can go through and I can go through many, many, many of my old drives. I can recover all of the files. I can put them all into my unlimited storage in sync.com. And that's all because Stellar Data Recovery is able to go in, whether it's a Mac computer, a Windows computer, any type of file that it can find, it'll retrieve. It takes a little while to do the scan, to grab the files. But now I have the ability to recover and work with all of those files that I thought I'd lost forever. 
Well, now I've got a whole bunch of my files back. I'm happy to have them. Some photos are in there. Some video game stuff that I wanted is in there. And I have all sorts of ways to work with my data. Plus, I can access it anytime I need to by grabbing it from the cloud. So I do recommend you grab this little guy. I recommend that you get the Stellar Data Recovery software and then you have a safe place to store it. I'll put links for the recovery software down below and we'll see you in the next video.